Why is Trump dubbing COVID-19 as the Chinese virus considered offensive, while many past epidemics have had similar naming schemes? To preface this, I'm not a supporter of Trump, but I disagree with the way progressive media has criticized him over his nickname for COVID-19, the Chinese virus. In addition, it is not only progressive media, but other governmental organizations like the WHO that have advised against dubbing COVID-19 in such a manner. In the past we have had cases where a widespread global epidemic has also been referred to other countries or nationalities, such as the Spanish flu, although it should be known that the Spanish flu had origins little to do with Spain itself. The Russian flu or Asiatic flu, the Japanese smallpox epidemic, the Asian flu and the Hong Kong flu, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome MERS, which has been referred to as Saudi Arabia's SARS-like virus. In any case, is the media backlash over Trump's nickname for COVID-19 justifiably warranted? Is there a problem in the way COVID-19 has been nicknamed? Let's appreciate the learning curve. The problem with all of those historical names is that they created sharp spikes in prejudice, social ostracism, and violence against the indicated groups, and still create issues today as seen here with COVID-19. It's true that the first identified cases of COVID-19 occurred in Wuhan, China, but this does not imply that people of Chinese descent, or even people recently emigrated from China, are vectors for the disease, or in any way responsible for the problems that the disease causes. But in the minds of an unfortunate number of ignorant people, the mere association of the disease with Chinese heritage can produce verbal and physical assaults, and or other social pressures that can prevent Chinese people in any walk of life from getting access to necessities or essential services. Trump's very public insistence on calling this the Chinese virus, backed by his status as president, is guaranteed to significantly increase acts of discrimination and assault on people of Asian descent whether or not they are specifically Chinese. It guarantees this merely by giving an authoritative affirmation to the most panicked, emotional, and ignorant portion of our society that those Chinese are in some way responsible for the spread of COVID-19. No doubt Trump does this intentionally. Trump thrives on the panicked, angry ignorance of others. That emotional state he knows how to manipulate to his own profit. And while he himself may not be concerned with the secondary impact of increased violence against people of Asian descent, people of Asian descent have a good deal to worry about. A president ought to have the presence of mind not to inflame racial tensions in a situation where tensions are already running exceedingly high. Even if we wanted to argue that there is nothing terribly wrong with the phrasing in and of itself, that it's just a poor choice of words by a man whom no one considers to be eloquent, perhaps, misstatements by someone who is, ostensibly, the leader of the free world have significant consequences. If even one Asian American gets attacked because of someone emboldened by Trump's poor word choice, that is blood on Trump's hands.